everyone, welcome back, Alex here. Today I'm going to be showcasing the 7x7. Seven seven. So, nah, just kidding. That's not really what I'm going to showcase. I'm actually going to showcase this lock over here. So, um, turn the code. The code is green, red, orange. One should be red. Now we're gonna be um right here. Orange and then this powers. So what I have here down below is this thing connected right over here, connected to a rising edge T flip flop, as you already saw my seven by seven on the last video. And, um, I'm going to be making a tutorial on this lock. Of course, the code won't be the same. You're going to choose. I'm going to teach you how to set it up and everything. And then I'm going to teach you how to connect it. So the first step um, is to make the inputs down here. The second step is to make the color rotating system, which is right here these colors the, and then step three is to make the powering system and step four is to link everything into one which I call the checking system so that it checks that you got the right code so now let's get to my single player world and I'm going to make a tutorial now I am on my single player world now before I get to the tutorial I will showcase the same thing except with only one column. So how it works here, this is the powering circuit with the best known block. The rotation circuit with the same red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple as I did in that server. So for this slot I selected orange. orange. And now that that's selected this redstone block goes up and powers this and goes into the checking circuit however this is supposed to be here but I'm only gonna do that at the very end of the tutorial I'm not gonna do it here since it's only one slot so how it works is um here's a sticky piston with a block the reason for this is because if it was a regular piston here the rest on block will just block it out, power it, and the rest on block won't be pushed. So that's why for the powering circuit, we needed all sticky pistons with blocks on their faces to make pistons that won't cause problems. For these ones, however, I am using regular pistons because there are no rest on blocks to ruin it. So... Here's the redstone, and again, somewhat compact. So, it's a very similar mechanism that I did l like in the last time, but there are some variations in it. And we're going to be making a tutorial on that instead. So, without any further ado, let's just get on with the tutorial, shall we? Shall we? So now you're going to start off with a 1 by 11 area. It's just a line of 1 by 11. So how to make your floor level, you're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4. And then, oh, actually, no. So 3 here. And then this is going to be your floor level. Your input is just going to be above here, this button. So then what you're going to do, actually, it's best that you use... I don't know, whatever, your choice, wooden button is better for bucket, and if not, then a stone button. So you're going to have redstone here, go down redstone, four tick repeater, sticky piston with a block on its face, you're going to have sand on that, with, oops, redstone, one tick repeater, and then you're going to go out here, and there. Redstone, redstone, and a two-tick repeater. 
and for the pistons you're going to take your regular pistons put them up like this so we are done our input and actually actually we're not done our input yet and we already started on our rotating circuit so just you um put a glass here blocks around and I suggest you put blocks here oops wait no what oh sorry it's supposed to be here again and then you're gonna have your glowstone and put it right here so there is your display and your input done we have already went to that um, rotating circuit so what you're gonna start off off this piston to layout you're gonna go three blocks up just I'd rather have you just go for any block really because we're gonna be doing the colors later then you're going to put a sticky piston here this is gonna push the block here However, there's not going to be a block here yet. You're going to go three up here. So you're going to have three here, three here. And then you're going to go up here. Oops. Yeah, sorry. You're going to have one regular piston here. And then you're going to have a regular piston here. So you're going to have... Oops, sorry about that. Let me just change it to day. So first, these are going to activate and then these are going to activate pushing those so that's how we're going to do our piston tape we're going to be doing the other one later however let's start off with the wiring we're gonna just oh we already did that so we're gonna go up again up here then you're gonna go up into a slab so redstone 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 four ticks four ticks then after that you're going to go up again and out into a slab redstone redstone go up into another slab block out here redstone redstone and then after that you're going to go out oops you're gonna go up again redstone and a two tick repeater right here so there you have I am so sorry yeah you did hear the fire alarm go out but you know what let's just continue here you're gonna go slab here block here repeater on four ticks go up and out here redstone redstone another repeater on four ticks then you're going to go two blocks out with redstone on it and then you're going oops sorry about the two ticks I think you'd rather put a no actually no no block there then you're going to go out here with the torch here gonna go down here another torch and then go down here and you should have your color rotating circuit now as you can see there it is and let's do it again yep it's there so um, let's do the next step that will be the powering circuit so now we're going to step two we're going to make the powering circuit Sorry about that. So let's just start with the wiring to help us with the piston layout. So from here you're going to go two out, redstone, block under, repeater on two, then go one two up here, sticky piston with a block on its face. Then from here you're gonna go redstone here, repeater four ticks and four ticks again. We have sticky piston with a block on its face again. Then after that, you are going to 
Actually, it's best that you label it with something like a lapis block. I'll just replace that and take that. So you're going to have an indicator. Well, it's recommended that you have an indicator block on its face. Then with your building block, you're going to go 1, 2, 3. And then you're going to go here, 1, 2, th oops. Yeah, so coming back here, we're going to have... Yeah, right here. So three like this and three like that in the same format like this. And then from here, just sticky piston with block. Preferably an indicator block. Now what you're going to do is go out and up here. One, two, and a repeater on two. Then after that, Oh, we forgot this one. From this regular piston, you're going to go sticky piston two blocks away with your block. Oh, again, indicator. So you've already powered the this, this, and this one. For this one, it is extremely simple. Two out, redstone, and that's it. Now, what you're going to do is take out your redstone block and you're going to put it here. You're going to have to have it here. Oops. Sorry about already having the colors. i just rather change that back. But um, now that you've done that, let's just start off with the colors again. For the demonstration, I'm going to make it green. So it's going to activate in green. The way you want to do it is you're going to put it right here, green, so that it is visible from here. Then under that, you're going to have blue. Replace your building block. Then purple. Oops. Just drop that. Get that again there place this then red orange oops orange on top of that and yellow so we're going to be using that same red orange yellow green blue purple thing like I did on the redstone server so it has to go here, like it needs to red, orange, yellow, green, so it goes counterclockwise facing this way so that this pushes up and it's blue next. So it's gonna be in the order of red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. So for the demonstration we're gonna have ours green, but just choose whatever color you want and then just put it up like that. And because you're gonna have your redstone block here whenever green will be shown. So what you're going to do is go 5 out, then repeater, 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 redstone, and torch, then up, down, out, into this redstone. Now we're going to uh, finish off the, now we're going to do the che um, checking circuit at the very end. However, if you're making more columns, which I assume you will, you're going to have to um, follow, you're going to have to go back in the video and follow the same steps except going out one, two, three, four, breaking those. This will be the floor again. And you go out here, your button. And now you already have your input there. Now just go back in the video and follow the same steps as I did for the first column. And then at the very end, I'll get back to you. We will start on the checking circuit, which was, which will be very easy. All right, now that you are done with your column, you should have built more columns. I've already made three. So I've already scrambled everything up. The code is actually supposed to be yellow, purple, and green. 
So you should have something like this in the back because we haven't started on the checking circuit yet. It's actually very easy. All you do is put blocks in between that redstone. Depending on how many you have, of course. So there, you have this. Then you're going to put... Now it depends on where you're building it. So if you want your lock to be on the left, and you have your output here, then you're going to put your torch right there. However, if you have your output here and building it to the right, then you are going to have your torch here. I'm just going to have it here. As for the output, it's very recommended that you just go down here and make a rising HT flip-flop. So how do you do that? You're going to go out here, redstone, if you don't know how to do that. So you're going to go just down here, redstone, repeater, on two ticks, and then... Let's just take a sticky piston. Sticky piston with a block on its face. Let's also take rest on blocks. And then after that, go out. A repeater on one tick with sticky piston right here. And your rest on block over there. And you could have your output going here, here, or, for example, down here, or up here. It doesn't matter where you want your output to come out. It only matters that you have your rest on block out here, because how it's going to work is, let me just, oops. Let me just give you a demonstration. Just putting a redstone block here. What's going to happen here is that this just spits it out. So let me just give you an example with just a piece of redstone here. It's being powered. And now that I just took it away, it's not powered anymore. This is not going to do anything. If I do it one more time, it's going to retract it. And the power is gone. So do it again. So, it's just a rising edge T flip flop, meaning it. You get the code correctly and immediately. Well, the pulse is on, and then you have it on. So, that's how it works. We don't have any falling edge T flip flop. It's all rising edge. So, that means you're done. All you have to do is enter the correct code, which will be yellow. Purple. There. And now green. There it is, and you should see that this retracted. And to power it again, you're going to have to enter the code again. So what I'm going to do here is actually spin this column around. There we've spun it again and it shoots out powering this redstone and it'll go into where you want to go. It could be a door like this. Oops. Well, that's the creeper door that I want to make the tutorial for. I will make it in another video again. As you might have seen in my last video, but any kind of door it only depends on how you have it because a lot of doors have the floor level here and the wall starts up here so you have a little gap that will allow the rest to come here so that's how this is made if this is blocked well then I'm sorry you're not going to be able to make it 
but usually you would want just to lock a door and you will be able to any door that has like this spacing let's just take an example here if you want to build it then you're gonna have to go out of the redstone to away from it so it doesn't interrupt it and then you're going to have your input here and then you're gonna go out that way so that's just an example of how you want to connect it to a door so that's about it for today I hope this helped you like and favorite if you enjoy subscribe for more videos and I'll see you next time